Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to block clients using your DHCP server. So go over to your DHCP server and click on leases and the first thing that you need to do is to static any computer that you'd want to access your network. So I'm going to do it. There are two ways to block and I'm going to show you both ways. One is via the DHCP directly from the DHCP server and another is based on the lease. So alright so I have one computer here which is um, a static computer and there's this button that says block access. By checking this box you realize the status just changed. You notice the status just changed to B. That means this client is blocked. So this client will not be allowed to send any traffic or get access to the internet or anything like that from the router. So this client is currently blocked. So although they are connected, they are blocked. And if I disconnect, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect from from the network and then I'm going to try and co connect so I'm now connected if you go to deep details you really um you see where i'm not getting an ip address no ip address and if you look at the mac address zero c and if you go back to the lease zero c which is this device but we have blocked it and you realize the the status has changed to waiting so this client can no longer access your network so as long as you static the address and then check the block this device won't be able to access your network so each time this device try to access the network your DHCP server will give the device will actually block it based on the MAC address the next way that I'm going to show you is via the lease or the address pool where I'm going to configure the DHCP server to only issue static IP addresses. So all of these addresses which are as a D, which is dynamic, the server will not issue those anymore. It will only issue static address. But before you do this, make sure that your the administrator computer is, is static before you, you, you go ahead with enabling this so what I'm going to do is enable to make my device static so this is the administrator computer and I can put a comment on it and call it admin computer okay so this device is static this one is also static but it is blocked and I'm going to go to DHCP server to the DHCP tab, open the DHCP server and change the address pool to static only and then click apply. So if you look in leases, when the lease expires, only computers that has a static IP address will be able to connect to this network. All right, so the lease has expired for all the other computers. So only two computers remain, remains, and this is because they are static. The IP address um, or the lease is static. So if I'm going to unblock this client, so I could unblock this client just like this, click OK and go back 
So I could just disconnect and then reconnect. And you see it's a waiting and now it's connected. So remember two ways. One, you can static the lease and click block to block the client. Click OK and it will block the client. And the, and the other way is to set the address pool to static only. And this will this will prevent the DHCP server from issuing any IP addresses. You can also use both the block option and the static together uh, based on what I'm showing here. So in order to block a client, you'd have to static the address first before you're able to enable the block. So I'm, uh, I'm going to disable, I'm going to put it back to what it was before. And now the first computers um, came back online. You see the D for dynamic, and, and if you look at it in the details, there is no option to block this client. Open the next, I'm going to open another computer. I'm going to look so we can see them side by side. So this is a dynamic address and this is a static lease. Dynamic lease, static lease. So the, the, the static lease has, has more options. Dynamic all it all what happen is this client just get an ip address so that is how you go about configuring your dhcp server to issue static addresses only or to block clients using your dhcp server so that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please remember to give me a thumbs thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so and also Click on the notification bell to get notified when new videos are released. And that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching.